Good evening everyone and welcome to our group where we read, we write, we play and everything in between. So most of you bumping into this will know our group maybe has blog posts relatively daily for a while now on my on my personal blog. But it's come to the point where imagine if you will a particular diagram where you have the amount of stuff you want to talk about and the time it takes to actually write about it. And our group was getting like right over there, uh, basically sitting down every evening to be able to write on the, write about stuff in general. Uh, even though as of recently I'm finishing earlier uh, every day instead of what I used to what the time I used to finish at. Somehow not quite cutting it, because things are getting more and more interesting, I guess, and I feel like writing more and more about stuff in general. So we have a problem, and it's come down to the time when it's when I really have to try something to be able to still do it, and I hope that on that diagram we talked about, that shooting videos will be somewhere around around there-ish. Imagine that there's a diagram, that there's a fancy image key going on, showing everything. So that's what we come down to, our whoop. I'm not even going to talk about the, the next few days, but for the next few instances, we're going to try this in a video form, just to give it a shot, even though even though it's going to be a busy day. Our whoop is a prologue that tells you where I am. Usually two to three subjects that may or may not be related, although sometimes there's some, some sort of common thread going on. And a prologue about what I'm going to do during the next day, and stuff like that. There we go, there you have it. Let's get started. Mmm, tea. So, since the last episode on the blog, a very famous company called Microsoft but a maybe a little less famous company outside of the gaming circles called Mojang. Mojang, which, as some of you know, because you are freaking gamers, or because you might be using Minecraft as a uh, teaching tool, is basically some sort of digital Lego. There is a lot to be said about something like that when it comes to an industry, but I'm not sure the mainstream in general will really care. Uh, however, I will take the time to salute the fact that someone that started a company around a game that made millions and kind of put indie design back at the forefront of the international stage as far as game development is concerned can just go out and say, you know what, I'm just going to focus on simpler stuff that I like to do which is basically what Notch, the original creator of Minecraft and the original creator of Mojang as well, decided to do. Uh, it is a very, very fine case of just being able to go back to simpler things, even though you've had quite a crazy life for the last few years. So, Notch, for everything that you have done, thank you and good luck. You. Wouldn't want to let it get cold, would you? Another bit of news that I missed during the last few days and I did not comment on on the blog is the fact that Netflix has finally opened in France. Uh, Netflix in France is actually based in Belgium, if I remember correctly. But it finally opened its catalogue and the possibility to create accounts and subscribe to the service for French users as of a few days ago. Now, there has been a lot of talk about it for a long time now, uh, mostly because Netflix in France is a symbol. The death of the mom and pop video store in the US and other countries, kind of. And many, many people in France were concerned as to how much. Um, competition. Netflix would be for, well, pre-existing streaming businesses in general. Um, the catalog is a little less, a little less full 
than it is in other countries. But, well, you kind of have to remember that it is, it is just the beginning basically, um, something that is very easy to forget when it comes to services like Netflix or software, uh, software delivery uh, platforms or content delivery platform in general, that it is not always so much about what it is that is important, so much as what it might become down the road. And Netflix has shown that it is very powerful and that, to be honest, most of my friends in the US and in the UK have used or are using Netflix anyway even though it might not necessarily have everything they would want to watch um, Netflix actually really really plays a big part in their lives because they consume a lot of media and the fact that Netflix facilitates being able to consume that media whenever you want basically if you have a relatively decent internet connection plays a big part of that and the fact that it's got a very very powerful um, algorithm uh, for suggesting shows and that in itself basically saves a lot of people time to try and figure out what the hell they're going to watch which yeah if <laughs> if a really really smart computer can do that for you accurately that's a very, very big convenience, convenience. And I think people in France will be very interested in getting to experience that. I've been able to, to use the service myself um, in the US or in the UK. And well, yeah, it's, it's really pretty good. I'm just really curious to see how the French audience will respond to it because there are pre-existing um, streaming platforms and services here going on already. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see how this pans out, even just right now, as well as a few a few months down the road, and well, yeah, probably a few weeks down the road. It should be interesting. Ah, tea on rainy days. That is going to be about it for tonight, actually. I'm really sorry to get it that short, especially for a first installment, but I have a big meeting for all the uh, people who own flats in my building so I can't really can't really not go I kind of want to make sure especially because we will be discussing hooking up the building to optic fiber just in time for us to be moving outside the country a few months down the road but hey better late than never right if you have any positive or negative response Feel free to ping me over Twitter, where you can easily find me at Bookmore, or just feel free to say hey. Uh, everything you will need to do that is either included in the uh, information box under this video if you're watching it on YouTube, or if you're watching this on the blog, then you can find everything in the, um, in the article that's coming with the video anyway. Yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you around. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.